hello and welcome to Heathrow Airport and a brand new vlog series. Um, I am on my way to LAX to go and visit Disneyland Resort in California. This is actually my second time filming the intro because when I did it earlier I was in the middle of the airport and I couldn't be very loud so I was like um, I've got some clips from the airport which I will show you now. I'm currently on the way to the gate Slow walkers, do I? Okay. Oh, please feed me breakfast. Oh, come to Papa. This is a cheese, bacon, and tomato croissant. It used to be my fan favourite when travelling, but I haven't had it for a long time. So I normally end up in Wagamama's or something. And in Heathrow Terminal 3, there is no such thing. So I'm in Pet A Mange. And there isn't a Starbucks either. Just saying. So from London to LAX is about 11 and a half hours. So with that, that's about three meals worth, and I'm not actually sure how much they serve you on Virgin Atlantic, so uh, I am going to stock up at WH Smith just so I've got enough for myself, um, as well as the meals that they're going to provide. So I'll let you know how that goes. I am not hating this coffee from Prep, but at the same time, I just want a Starbucks. I'm definitely feeling a little bit more awake now that I've had some food. This is my loot from WH Smith. In there I've got two bottles of water, a sandwich, pack of crisps, uh, like a breakfast bar thing, some chocolate, food. I've got about an hour until I need to leave the gate and as far as I'm aware this isn't going to be a busy flight. Like um, premium economy and upper class looked pretty busy but economy when I was checking in didn't seem bad at all so fingers crossed it's not too bad because in 11 and a half hours sat next to someone I'd rather not. And now that I've got you up to speed, we shall board the plane. This is the kind of departure gate I like. There's no one here. If you haven't flown Virgin Atlantic Economy for a while, this is what it looks like. Legroom is perfectly suitable in the middle area. Estimated flight time is actually 10 and a half hours. Uh, whilst I was in duty free, I picked up a little treat for myself. Uh, I got this pair of Bose Quiet Comfort 35 Mark II noise cancelling headphones. Um, I fly quite a lot. I've always been tempted to get a pair of these, but these were like £20 cheaper in uh, Dixon's Travel in the Duty Free. Um, so I'm going to give them a go. I'll let you know how they are. Um, I was actually testing them in the waiting lounge bit and the departures seating area, and it made a wonderful difference. So hopefully it's going to be good. So, small disclaimer no, I'm not sponsored. I bought these. Um, they were approximately £269, which I know is not cheap. I know it's not cheap, but it's the technology that's inside them that's expensive. Um, this is what they look like inside the box, and it's a little bit easier to open when you have more than one hand available, but hey, I've got you guys here, haven't I? Uh, that's what they look like. They unfold like so, are incredibly comfortable. And it comes with two cables, one to plug into an auxiliary cord and the other to charge it with a USB. So I'll actually be able to charge it with the USB port that's here and also plug it into the auxiliary cord if I want to watch a film on the telly. Now I broke my seat in advance and I've actually lucked out because I've got two spare seats next to me. Um, at least this means that I can put my feet into this bit, have my bags down there, put some things on here, you know. Living life of luxury.
uh, sandwich, which I've already devoured. Um, I would like to know, you rice going first or blue to rice going? Is it cream first or jam first? I'm a cream first going to Okay, I have made it to LA. It is very early. I think I, I was expecting to get in at like four. We got in at like two, like 1.30 ish. Um, customs was a breeze, took maybe 30 minutes. Um, mainly because I think they used the uh, touch points here for all people instead of just Americans, which they do in Florida. Uh, but now I've got to go about ordering an Uber, which is going to be easier said than done. But we will do the process and I will let you know how it goes. So I've just come outside and there is a sign that says ride at pickup on level two. So I'm going to level two. Check out that LA sun. So at about midday on a Tuesday, it's $54 quoted to get from the airport, which is where I am now, to my hotel in Anaheim near the convention center. If you are taking Uber from LAX, basically uh, go up to level two and the app will recommend a letter to stand by. I'm in C and then it's off to Anaheim for me. I used to take the shuttle, uh, which was cheap. It was like $25 each way. However, it took a very long time last time. I think I was maybe waiting 45 minutes just to leave. Um, so I'm splurging because I want to get there. Made it to the Sheraton Park, Anaheim. All checked in. Um, I've just, oh, they have a Starbucks in my hotel. They have, they, 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 the, the Starbucks in my hotel room, guys. <laughs> right, anyway, so I'm all checked in. Uh, the chap who checked me in said, I'm on the 11th floor on a corner room facing the park. What? I'm so happy to be here. Uh, fun story for you. Uh, oh no, I've just realized I haven't got my D-Wind muffler thingy majiggy. Anyway, the fun story. I'm just walking into the building. They have this cute little photo op. Gonna do that later. Um, so when I first came to California, like the very, very first time, which was 2013, this was the first hotel I stayed in and probably would have been one of the first like American hotel rooms I ever stayed in, number 11. And I remember walking into the hotel room just being like, where am I? Because <laughs> in British hotel rooms, we literally have like one double bed, if you're lucky. I'm here, I'm here, and I'm surprisingly awake. It's coming up to four o'clock and like I'm still with it and I've got plenty of time to do stuff so I think I might go to like downtown Disney or something like, I'm just so excited here we are 1101 got this adorable little window outside It's a little cute corner window. This air conditioning is quite loud. Shush. I look terrible, I'm aware, but I'm so happy. I'm so excited to be here. Right, so this is a standard two queen bed. It is a corner room, so I've got like a little bit of an extra window. Two queen beds are included. Uh, I have a fridge in here, which would be very handy because I am probably going to pop to like CVS or something, which is like a convenience store and fill that up with some bottles of water, some cans of Coke, because as much as I love Disney, I can't afford their prices all the time. Anyway, um, little coffee machine in the room with Starbucks cups and Starbucks coffee. Yes. Uh, room service, book thingy majiggy, phone, pen and paper, widescreen TV, love it. Mirror, ooh. Um, drawers, Bible. 
in case you're into that. Uh, office chair, lush. Uh, two chairs, table, ice bucket, bottles of water, glasses, spare thing. We'll come back to the view in a minute. Another phone, just in case you're too lazy to go from there to there. Lamp, charging port, love that, because you can plug USBs in. Yes, Sheraton, we like this. Time, 3.30, good time. Pictures of a fairy. No, it's not me. Moving into the, but ooh, we've got a nice long wardrobe. And robes. Oh no, she didn't. Oh, I'm gonna wear a robe. Safe, nice big safe as well. Uh, laundry bags, iron, hangers, ironing board, sink with adorable lighting. We like this. Uh, face cloth, soap, tissues, more glasses, plastic cups. Save the planet, don't use them. Bin, hand towel, toilet. This bathroom is massive. Bath, shower, shower head, two lights. Why the two lights? I don't know. Another cool poster. This one's got like a princess and a prince dancing. Oh my God, that's adorable. They're adorable. The view, the view, the view, the view, the view, the view. I'm sorry, I'm so excited. Can I open this all the way? Can I stand on it like a balcony? Is this gonna be one of those child lock things? I can go on the balcony. <gasps> That's Disneyland. Right there. That is Star Wars land being built there. That is, that is, that is para, that is, it's not Paradise Pier anymore, it is Pixar Pier, but it's Pixar Pier over there. And I'll be able to watch the fireworks from here. And I'm very excited and I have a room and I have a balcony and, and, and California! People think I'm crazy. And that may be true. Right, so. Line of business. Unfortunately, I've just realized I haven't got my muffler with me. Um, I sent my camera off to be repaired shortly after I got off the Disney cruise um, because there was dust in the lens and we don't like dust in the lens. So, if there's wind noises in this vlog series, I do apologize, but I just left it at home. Did I leave it at home or is it in my... It could be in my little, little box thingy. No, never mind. It's not in there. Uh, right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get out these clothes because I've been wearing them for 18 hours. Gross. And it's meant to rain this evening so I hopefully wanna get over to, I'm not gonna go into the parks today because I've only got a five day ticket and the way I've worked it out is that it will be perfectly five days as long as I don't go in today. Um, and no doubt I will crash in about two, three hours. What I am gonna do is jump in the shower quick, deflight a ties, uh, bring myself back to a human being level, and then probably go and get something light to eat and pick up some stuff for the mini fridge and just maybe breakfast for the room and stuff. So, <sighs> right, I will pick you up when I'm not looking as disgusting as I am right now. Washed, showered, changed, revitalized. My hair isn't my normal hair, but it's fine. I'm making it work. I don't want to put it through too much ag. Uh, today. I am already starting to flag. Um, however, I'm thinking if I keep pushing forward, I'll be fine. Um, so I'm going to head to Disney, not Disney Springs, downtown Disney. Um, okay, Google. Is it going to rain this evening? No, this evening is not forecast to rain in Anaheim. Love it. The forecast um, is 16 degrees. Okay, thank you. It was meant to rain. It's not going to rain now. Thank you. Uh, however, I kind of want it to rain because there's some gorgeous views available here, but it's a bit smoggy. Gotta love the smog in LA. Anyway, um, I'm wearing my new treat myself t-shirt because, because I like to treat myself to, uh, well, I mean treat myself today to those Bose headphones that I probably didn't need, but really really wanted uh these t-shirts are available to buy so if you'd like to go and get yourself one i spat everywhere that's disgusting if you would like to get one of these or a morning t-shirt they are available on my website and the link will be down below as well as some other adam hatton themed merchandise which you can purchase now when i'm in the room i'm gonna have to apologize that i i can stop the sound of the air conditioning but to turn it off and back on again is a bit of a palaver 
So please forgive me if you just hear a gentle hum in the back of any room scenes, but you're professional vlog watchers, so I'm sure you're used to this kind of stuff. Anyway, without further ado, let's go. I've also kind of unpacked, and by kind of unpacked, I mean I put my shirts in one pile and put my pants in one pile. That was an American thing. Ha! Ah, I'm in California. It is 18 degrees Celsius outside, which isn't bad, um, especially for this time of year. Um, it's nice and clear. There's no kind of humidity in the air, which is nice, but I have got this new little uh, number from Hollister. Uh, it's quite chilly in the shade, and it's gonna only get chillier as the night goes on, but I'm looking forward to pottering around Disney, not Disney Springs, downtown Disney. I just need to be very careful that I don't buy anything that I can buy in Disney World because in Disney World I have an annual pass and I get 20% off the merchandise whilst if it's exclusive Disneyland stuff I can obviously justify buying it. So, I've got my room key, I've got my wallet, I've got my phone, I have not. That was a close one. Just walking down the corridors and I completely missed these like vintage pictures that they have from Disneyland. Ooh, I love it. That backdrop is adorable. Okay, so they've got some like basics in here. So if I needed to, I could pick some stuff up from here, but I think it'll still be chilly for at Walgreens. It is a beautiful sunny afternoon in Anaheim, California, and I am just so happy to be here. I can't believe that just a few hours ago I was sat on a plane, or in my home. So, <laughs> yes, I'm gonna have a great time. I've got a bit of a headache coming on, but that's pretty normal for me when I'm uh, getting jet lagged. So I'm not gonna stay out for too long. Um, literally gonna get dinner, head back to CVS, and then turn in relatively early, maybe stay up to like nine-ish. Space Mountain is in view. The music is coming into earshot. I'm at Disneyland. I stupidly forgot my sunglasses and uh, I think that might be giving me the headache because it's very bright and the sun is very low whilst it's setting. And you do not know what it is taking me to not just scan my ticket and head into California Adventure because California Adventure is my favourite park. So chances are you'll be seeing tomorrow's vlog next week, which is going to start in California Adventure, full oh, shot. Sure. Um, but no, I'm walking straight through to downtown Disney. Uh, if you've never been to Disneyland Resort before, that's California Adventure, that is Disneyland, that is downtown Disney. Everything's a lot closer together than Walt Disney World. I guess it would be rude of me to not walk through the newly refurbished World of Disney store, right? That's what I thought. <gasps> They're playing Disney Springs music in here. I love Disney Springs music, it helps me work and concentrate. I watch it on YouTube when I'm doing work. They've got cute stuff here. Look how adorable that is! Although I think I've seen that in Walt Disney World, so... So as I'm relatively new to the whole refurbished downtown Disney, uh, I asked a customer, I was like, where's good to eat? Um, and they recommended this place called Jazz Kitchen, so I'm gonna walk through uh, downtown and see if I can find that. They said they have a sit-down or a quick service. I've just walked past and they have Mickey 90 Ray-Bans. Uh, I feel like I'm gonna end up spending money. We have Pandora, we have Sephora, we have the Disney dress shop like they have in Walt Disney World. They have that place, they have that place, they have that place. There's lots of places. If you want to stay at an on-site resort, they have the swanky one there, which is the Grand Californian, which is like the Grand Floridian, uh, except with a wilderness lodgy type tone. Uh, they also have the Disneyland Hotel, which is down here, and also Paradise Pier, which I'm not sure if it is down here, but if it is, I'll show you. Um, I can't find this place that she recommended, though. This is new, I know that much. In fact, I know a fun fact about this, because I watch um, Disney Food Blog, and 
AJ on there always has some fun tips and apparently this used to be a Build-A-Bear and they have a little teddy bear hidden in here somewhere but it's not clearly visible and I think you have to be in the restaurant so good luck finding that if you go I know I'm being really helpful but I have just come off a ten and a half hour flight so cut me some slack oh they've got a gallery with some lovely pieces of art in there but I really can't go in there because I know I'll buy something and I get the discount, so why would I do that? Oh, there it is. Just Kitchen Express. Here's a little look at the menu if you're interested. Oh, they have beignets. They have very good breakfast by the looks of it. I might come here tomorrow morning. Uh, oh, fried chicken po boy. That sounds interesting. That's a sandwich. I've got my cup, I've got my pager, and I've just found out they have Heinz barbecue sauce, and I get to have Disney frozen barbecue sauce, I'm very excited about this, and I completely forgot that they actually do fries here. That's the restaurant side, and it looks super cute. It's actually come in a takeaway box, so I might take this back to the room just because I'm tired. I appreciate this isn't gonna be a proper taste test because by the time I've got back to the room, it's obviously gonna be a little bit colder. Um, however, I am very much flagging and I'd rather be in the room with food if I'm gonna crash rather than out here and having to walk back. And it doesn't look like it's gonna be that far, but then again, <laughs> what do I know? So I came through the far side of downtown Disney, which brought me out to the Disneyland Hotel. Um, I've now walked around uh, that car park, walking now past Paradise Pier, if you can just about see it. And the Grand Californian entrance is on the other side, so I basically walked up and around to here. Um, I've just got to walk down this road and turn left and then I'm at the hotel. So the walk from my hotel into downtown Disney uh, it's about 20 minutes, 20, 25 minutes, depending on how quickly you walk. Um, I could have taken an Uber, I could have uh, walked to the uh, Toy Story bus stop, but uh, I don't mind the walk, and it means that I'm getting my steps in, which is good, because coming to Disney is the only exercise I get at the moment. If you've seen my previous California vlogs, you will know that California Screaming, which is now the Incredicoaster, uh, used to be my favorite attraction, and I've just walked past it, hearing the screams and the rattle of the track and <sighs> I can't wait to go tomorrow. Um, I have got a five day ticket, I think I mentioned it earlier in this vlog, but I've also got uh, Max Pass, which is the new paid fast pass system. Um, but I'll explain all of this in the next vlog. Um, the tickets I've got, how the fast pass system works, because it's updated even since I came a year and a bit ago. The first time I ever came to California, uh, it was for VidCon and a friend and I came to this ice cream parlour and it was amazing! So if I got the time I would very much like to come back over this but uh, knowing my schedule, highly unlikely, highly unlikely. I'm thinking that upon reflection I probably shouldn't have walked all the way to downtown Disney just to pick up food. There's plenty of food places right by the hotel. Uh, like there's an entire district there that has like Cheesecake Factory and stuff and I could have just got a takeaway from there or got Uber Eats or something. But when Adam ends up 200 yards from Disney, literally. So my hotel is on this side, the park is on that side. That's cool. I can't help myself, all right? I'm bad, I'm terrible, I know. But at the same time, I've just done a mile walk and I feel disgusting. I made it. <laughs> Barely alive. Oh no, we're not doing that again, Adam. That was way too long. I shouldn't have done that. And especially, I was like, yeah, ready to go. I think it's just the adrenaline, like, oh my God, I'm here. That kept me going. And uh, now I'm paying the price for it because I am so unbelievably exhausted. And I really need to try and stay up to nine o'clock just to get over the jet lag. So I'm gonna eat. I'm going to change to something that is not jeans and just veg out for an hour. Which I know is dangerous because I'm probably not going to get back up again, but I'm going to do it anyway! Looks like it's still warm, which is good. 
Oh, crumbs, look at that. I feel like Mr. Bean and Mr. Bean's Holiday where he's like setting up the camera to like film in a meeting and he's going like this. <laughs> right, taste test. I'm so tired. I know I'm going to keep saying it and I know it's going to be really boring and you're going to be like, Adam, we know you're tired. Give up. Me, me, me. My point stands. Right. It's really good. I am currently watching Devil Wears Prada because I'm a basic boy. Uh, I do need to head out to CVS and it's starting to get dark so I kind of want to do this sooner rather than later but I just can't muster the energy which means I probably should do it now otherwise I'm not going to do it at all. Ugh. Wish me luck. I'm not going to take you guys with me because I'm currently wearing my gym shorts and there's no real place for you guys to go whilst I'm shopping. So I will let you, I will show you the CVS haul once I'm back. The likelihood of me making it to 9 p.m. is slipping through my fingers. Um, I carried a lot back from CVS. I have 12 cans of Coke Zero, which are going to be going in the fridge. Um, already in the fridge, I have uh, some milk, and alongside that, I got some cardboard. Are they cardboard? I really have. Oh no, they're plastic. I got them because I thought they were cardboard. Ugh, I just don't like single-use plastic. I hate it so much. Anyway, plastic bowls. Uh, they did have some plastic spoons, but you had to buy like 50 for $3. And I was like, I don't want like 49 plastic spoons going back into the world. Um, so I just went down to the restaurant that they have here and I was like, hi, do you have a reusable spoon? Um, and so they gave me a little plastic one, so now I'm using one plastic spoon instead of 50. I'm doing what I can. Um, I am a bit annoyed I had to get back as well. Do you know what? I'm just going to have to live with it. I got some oats and honey cereal uh, for the mornings as well as some Oreo thins if I want some milk and cookies later because I'm adorable. Uh, breakfast bars in case I get hungry if I pop back to the room or something. Um, I love brown cinnamon pop tarts and they don't sell them in the UK as far as I'm aware. Um, so whenever I come to the States I pick up a couple boxes just so I got some treats when I get home uh, and also some M&M caramel because again I think they I think they do sell them in the UK they're just a little bit harder to come by. And I've got a six pack of one litre, I'm just going to show you, one litre bottles of smart water. Uh, that is to take it to the parks because when you get into the parks, I think a normal bottle of Dasani is like $3.75 now and smart water is even more than that and that's a litre bottle. So with that in mind, I'm hopefully going to save a few pennies. The door is currently open because the air conditioning doesn't seem to be cold enough for my liking or it's not working uh whatever the case may be i really don't want to deal with it right now um i called down and just said like is there a chance it's not working um and they said no it seems to be working correctly but we'll send up a fan if, if that's gonna make you more comfortable which is nice i think the whole hotel is built on an old system where they can't individually assign it it's all from like one place so i didn't rec i didn't recall this from my last trip um, but this hotel was incredibly cheaper than staying at either the Marriott or the Hilton, which are next door. So, hey ho, we, we, we live and learn. Um, I'm saving money by staying here, so can't complain. I've decided that I'm going to call it. It is 7 p.m. time of Adam's tiredness death. 7 p.m. Um, 23 hours I've been awake. Hey, that's what outside looks like at the moment, which uh, is helping me fall asleep because it's just getting darker and darker and darker. Um, my fan hasn't turned up yet, and that's the one thing I'm worried about is that if I fall asleep, is the fan going to turn up and wake me up? Because I will be miffed if that happens. But I'm going to call it a day on the vlog. It's been a very long one, I think. I hope you've enjoyed watching it as much as I've enjoyed um, getting here. If you would like to get yourself a Treat Myself t-shirt, there will be a link below. 
as well as uh, the shop to the morning t-shirts and also my dream guide to Walt Disney World. If you're planning a trip to Walt Disney World, it's the ideal dream guide for you. Um, I do have some copies, but they're all on the other side of the room and I'm not moving. Welcome. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to your own stuff. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.